way. Whew. Wow, so much better. That was a little rough. Thanks guys, I appreciate you Thanos snapping the ever-living hell out of that cable for me. Now that we've got that pesky link cable out of the way, I'm going to show you how to properly use it. So stick around, whether you're a Quest veteran or you're just brand new, this information is definitely for you. See, when running an Oculus Quest Link cable in the past, what would have to happen is it would have to go through the Oculus Link to Steam VR and then to the game that you're playing. And then back from the game to Steam VR to the Oculus Link. Each time compressing and decompressing packets, causing extra latency, and a whole bunch of other nerdy stuff that I'm sure you probably don't even really care about. But see, I'm so fine-tuned with my Oculus Quest controllers and my headset that it's literally become a part of my own body. Now I know what you may be thinking. See, it just comes out of nowhere. It's literally attached to me at this point. One second, much better. If you wanna be a high level performer and you wanna absolutely wreck things or just have a better gaming experience to where your hands move exactly where they should be moving when you move them, then this video is for you. Now you may be asking yourself, Astraeus, how did you come across this amazing information? How are you all knowing about everything that's VR? And to that question I would say, I'm not. But my phone was creepily listening to me while I was talking in my house because you know, they do that these days. And I saw an article from Upload VR that was suggested. The link to that description will be down below, as well as the article and the place to download from GitHub. The fantastic thing is, even for a non-tech nerd like myself, who doesn't know anything about PCs and gets most of his work done by his friend, it's pretty easy to follow and I was able to download and apply this product without even blowing up my own computer. All you have to do is click on a couple buttons, follow the instructions, rename one file and drop in another file that you downloaded, and you're good to go. And then as soon as you run your Quest link, and enable it from the Oculus menu, it'll take you straight to Steam VR, And that's where the fun begins. The Steam VR version of games is always better, 99% of the time. The resolution's cleaner, the pixels are brighter, the guns are realer, the blood effects are bloodier, you name it, it's there. Steam VR has you covered. Now I know what you may be thinking, well, what is all this gonna cost me? And the fantastic thing is, is Caitlin's such a fantastic individual that she's made it open source and it's free. So literally, the only thing that's keeping you from unlocking the amazing potential of this is you being lazy. So stop being lazy. Get up off the couch or get on the couch. Download the software, get it installed. Let me know in the comments below how much you appreciate the fact that Caitlin is such a fantastic person, the fact that the people at Upload VR are so aware of everything going on and that they posted their news article. And then maybe, maybe if you found this video worthwhile, you might consider liking, leaving a comment, or even, I know crazy, subscribe. As always, you're fantastic. I appreciate all of you, and I'll catch you on the next one. I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on this display.